Let's look back at the week that was in St. Peter's Athletics. Women's basketball wrapped up a busy three-game stretch last week, starting at home against Siena on Monday night. It was a back-and-forth affair with multiple lead changes, but one that ended with the Peacocks coming out on top 87-83. Junior Gabrielle Harris and sophomore Brianna Richardson both had 20-plus points in the day, and sophomore Willisha Jackson attained a double-double with 12 points and 10 rebounds. The team played tough against Manhattan and Fairfield in their final two outings of the week, as junior Taya Thornton continued her impressive season and was among the top two scorers in both games. The team returns to the court this week as they welcome in Monmouth tomorrow night at the Anatelli Center for a 7 p.m. contest. They'll also travel to Iona next Monday night. The track and field teams competed at the Great Dane Classic over the weekend in Staten Island, where several Peacocks put together tremendous performances. Freshman Clardo Nestor was the runner-up in the men's 1,000-meter race and posted the eighth fastest time in the MAC this year. Fellow freshman Jared Gentles was a top 10 finisher in the men's 400 meter. Sophomore Daniel Jean-Baptiste was a top 30 finisher in the 200 meter dash. On the women's side, freshman Bernetta Gossier placed in the top 20 in both the 60 and 200 meter dashes. The combination of seniors Avaswahi and Oneni Albert were part of the top 25 in the 200 meter dash as well. The team returns to action at the Ramapo opener at the New York Armory this Friday. The swimming and diving teams wrapped up a training trip down in Miami this past week at FIU. After a productive week in South Beach, the Peacocks head home to host Lafayette in a dual meet Tuesday before facing off against LIU and Monmouth on a Saturday in West Long Branch. Finally, the men's basketball team played a pair of conference games over the week starting on Thursday night in Albany, where the Peacocks battled Siena in a tight tilt. Freshman Aaron Estrada led the way with 13 points, while senior Quinn Taylor had seven rebounds in an eventual three-point Saints victory. The team returned home for a Sunday matinee against Canisius, where sophomore Dallas Watson had his best outing of the year with a season-high 11 points alongside rookie Darrell Banks III. Freshman Doug Eddard was also in double digits with the team leading 13 points, but the Golden Griffs rallied late to take a four-point decision over the Peacocks. St. Peter's will look to get back on track this week as they hit the road for two games at Fairfield and Quinnipiac. Follow the Peacocks on Twitter and Instagram at SPU Athletics.